Hi guys. Hi, I'm just gonna give a few minutes um, for you guys to join us. Hi guys, oh yes, hi guys. Thank you so much for joining us. Um, for those who don't know me, um, I am the Lazy Makoti and I'm live tonight on the Glamour SA page and we're gonna make something really delicious, something really quick and extremely nutritious, which is what we need at a time like this. Um, hi guys, yes, I see you guys. Um, how many of you are tired of banana bread? Say I, I am, I, I'm done with banana bread, which is why tonight we're gonna to be making um, three easy salads. <laughs> Hi Naomi, we're going to be making some really easy salads that are not only nutritious, but they look great. They look, get your Instagrams ready. They look that great. Um, but also they taste amazing. So yeah. Hi guys. Thank you so much for joining. Um, I think we'll just wait just about two minutes for everybody else to join us and we can start cooking. What we're going to be making today is super simple super beautiful well that's the plan and super nutritious hi guys hi mpo and hi lilo i see you guys thank you so much for joining me uh, my name is the lazy makoti and like i said tonight i'm live on the glamour sa page um that sound that you hear some boiling water because you're going to need a little bit of that and yeah, we are so ready to cook. So I'm gonna share with you three recipes, um, depending on how it goes, uh, but I know we're gonna, we're gonna be able to get through three recipes, that's how quick and easy they are. Hi, Pasi, yeah, <laughs> I think everyone is done with banana bread. So today we're gonna be making something that's gonna be a little kinder to our figures because they will be live after lockdown. So you must think about that. So yeah, we're gonna be making three simple salads that deliver on looks and on taste. And yeah, they're really my favorite salads. So I think now we can get started. Yeah, it's almost like five past six and i think it's time for us to get started so the the three salads i'll just take you through the ingredients as we get started with the cooking with each salad um there's very minimal cooking to be done here like minimal cooking which is one of my other favorite things about all of these salads that they are so quick and easy so now i will turn the camera so that um i can be busy with both hands and let's get into it let me just turn the camera yes so our first salad um, is actually in my cookbook um, it's a couscous and bean salad very simple to make very simple ingredients as well that are very easy to find um, so the first thing we're gonna need is some couscous obviously um, today I'm using some whole wheat couscous but whichever couscous you like will work just fine. And all you need literally is the simplest thing in the world to make. Because all you need is some boiling water. And what I'm going to do is pour it in here. So what you want is to leave about a centimeter of water above the couscous. So because that's what's going to cook the couscous is the steam. And then I'm just going to cover this with my cling wrap. You want it to fit like nice and snug so that none of the steam, which is what's actually going to cook the couscous, escapes. So I'm just going to cut it with my hands like so. How many liters of water? So in here, I've got, I'm just reading your questions. Um, in here, I've, I've got about a cup of couscous and I'm doing about a cup and in a bit of water so you just want the water literally you just want the water to um to cover all of the couscous because that's that's what's cooking it so i'm just gonna put this aside literally five minutes from now our couscous is gonna be ready that's how quick and easy it is to make 
Um, so while the couscous is cooking, we're gonna prep the rest of our ingredients and I will just go through them. This is some black bean, some chickpea. So these just come in, in a can. You don't even have to cook them, which is great. And then some um, yellow pepper, some red onion, my favorite, some feta, and then some cherry tomato and some cucumber as you can see it's a very colorful salad which is one of the things that i actually love about it that it looks so so pretty um so i'm gonna grab now a bowl i'm gonna grab a bowl because i want to make it inside the bowl and then um plate it nicely so that's my trick to always get like stuff nicely plated I'm gonna start now with my cucumber so you just dice it whichever way you like remember that you can add whatever extra ingredients you have that you really like just as long as you make this nice and colorful so I'm gonna add in here my hands are, are washed so for those that are gonna be asking my hands are washed um, in here I've got some chickpeas and then I'm going to go in now with my black bean. You can easily use some kidney beans as well. Um, I just love the, the really strong color of the black beans. And then next is my yellow pepper. For those that just joined us, we're making like a variety of salads. Um, that will keep us nice and healthy during this lockdown period. And then next will be my red onion. I love, love, love the color of this. Um, my red onion. So I just chopped these earlier, make them nice and pretty. And then next, I'm just gonna halve my cherry tomato. I'm gonna do a few of those. As you can see, it's got some really nice color here. Hi guys. Thank you so much for joining us. We are making simple, easy, delicious salads because like I said, lockdown is gonna be over and we'll need to be in shape. I'm gonna read your questions as we go. Um, does it have to be red onion? No, you can use whatever onion you like. I just like the red onion for the color. I think it just adds such pretty color to the salad. So that's why i'm using that as well even the the beans you can substitute with whichever are your favorite beans they'll work just fine my other favorite thing about the salad um is that you can have it as a side or a main meal sometimes this is just all i have i'll have this for lunch um sometimes maybe i'll add like a piece of chicken or fish and that is that for lunch I'm going to add a bit more cucumber and then we'll check on our couscous. This is like the easiest, well, one of the easiest salads to make. Look, such pretty color. It's going to be even prettier when we mix it in together. And now I will check on my couscous. You're very welcome to ask questions, guys. This is why I'm here. Um, I'm just gonna give you guys another like really nice trick with couscous. Today I'm using whole wheat couscous, but you can use whichever you like. Um, if you wanted to add a bit more flavor into your couscous, you could um, substitute the water for some stock. That's any stock, chicken stock, vegetable stock, whichever stock, this just adds really great flavor. I didn't do that today, I just used some water some boiling water how did you make it fluffy so you basically just cook it in some boiling water with some boiling water um this so this was my couscous and then i just added some really boiling water just enough to cover about a centimeter over so if this would have been my couscous i would have poured this much water so just enough until it's completely absorbed and it covers about a centimeter over and then cover that with a cling wrap very tightly because the steam is what's going to cook the couscous and then you just with a fork 
just fluff it out like that it literally is the easiest simplest thing quickest thing to cook in the world okay so now all of this i'm gonna mix together i've got some yellow pepper some uh, black bean some chickpeas cherry tomato some cucumber some red onion you're welcome to substitute these with whichever your favorite veggies are you could add in here some carrot like really like just go ham the other thing about the salad is you can bulk it up so an excuse to have all of your your veggies just bulk this up so with a fork i'm just gonna sort of mix everything in i really really love the color of the salad and yeah this could be an entire meal so you could have literally just the salad or you can add a piece of protein be it fish or meat chicken whatever it's nice and beautiful um and then once we're done with this we're going to make a very quick dressing actually my go-to dressing of life it's that quick and easy and it's super versatile so just about all my salads i always have them with this dressing okay i think that's nice and mixed and then i'm gonna grab a plate and then just in the middle of your plate you can dish that up and you can have as much as you want so you can dish that up so this is obviously before I've um, dressed it and you're welcome to dress it. Um, sometimes I have it even without the dressing with just like some salt and pepper. So that is salad number one done. Um, we're going to quickly make the dressing before we get on to our second salad. I'm going to move this away and then grab my ingredients for the dressing. So this dressing you can use for... A number of salads whichever salads it'll work it'll work for those that just joined us today um, I'm the lazy Makoti and well, I'm always the lazy Makoti and I'm live on the glamour Instagram and we're making a variety of salads I know how we've all been cooking 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 so I thought today let's make something a little more healthy something that's actually going to help our immune systems because that's actually what we need now and something that's going to be nice quick because nobody has the time between the zoom calls and everything else and but also something that's going to be equally as delicious so now uh we're just making our dressing in here i have some garlic and then some whole grain mustard um, I, we can use whatever mustard you like. I just like the, the texture of this. I feel like it adds a little more character to all your salads. Uh, in here is some olive oil. And then I'm just going to juice some lime. And then to this, we're going to finish it off with some honey for sweetness. So you get very little juice out of a lime. So... You might need to use a couple. I think I'm going to grab another one. I just like that the, the taste of the lime breaks the sweetness of the honey, which we're also going to add to make our dressing. Okay. And then I'm going to do another lime. I prefer using limes to lemons. So let's use limes. So I'm gonna do the next half we're making our dressing now for the salad that we just made which is our couscous and chickpea bean salad very simple to make I think this is just about enough in here is about two tablespoons of olive oil we are going to share all of these ingredients all of the you know the methods so don't worry after this you'll get all the ingredients uh, so that you can make these at home and then this is the juice of two limes and then I'm also adding some garlic my favorite thing ever I add it to just about everything and then finally I'm gonna add 
some mustard. I really like the texture of the of this mustard. Actually, not finally. Finally, finally, <laughs> I'm gonna add some honey, just for a bit of sweetness. And then you just mix that. You can make this in a jar so that you can keep in the fridge and then each time you're ready with your salad, you just give it a nice shake and then dress your salad. So that is our dressing. How easy was this? Really easy. I think it's just been like 10 minutes and we're already done with one salad and the dressing. So now on to salad number two it's also like just as quick and easy i am gonna put on my stove now don't stress this is like very little cooking that we're doing today and these are our ingredients i'm just gonna move the rest of my ingredients out of frame so that all you see is the new ingredients so here we go this is our next salad um it's a rocket blue cheese and um pear salad um as you can see here my rocket is in like icy water and that's to make it like nice and crunchy so that i always do that with all my greens whatever greens i'm using in a salad be it a lettuce or baby spinach or rocket i always put it before i make i make the salad always put it in some icy water to make it nice and crunchy um substitute for the blue cheese yes i get this question a lot actually um you can substitute the blue cheese because i know some people don't like the very strong taste and the pungent smell of blue cheese you can use um, some feta, which is a favorite of mine, actually. So if you don't like um, the blue cheese, you can use some feta. So that'll work as well. So don't stress too much. The thing I love most about salads is you can very easily like mix and match things. It doesn't have to be exactly the way that you see it in a recipe. You can add all of your favorite ingredients. You can substitute as much as you want. It'll still taste great. So I think my pan is nice and hot. So I just lightly greased it with some cooking spray. I'm not using oil. I'm just using cooking spray. And then I'm just gonna cut, um, I'm gonna cut my pears. I'm gonna give this like a light, just a light fry on the pan. And the reason for that is, as you can see, I'm using a griddle pan. So I want to get those beautiful marks on the pear. And sometimes I don't use pear, I'll use like peach. Like, so you can like substitute to your heart's content. Um, love the ice water trick. Does the water not dilute the flavors though? Not at all. The, the water helps the, the greens to be to revive them actually you know when you have like a lettuce and you feel like it's it's a little like old not off but like not as fresh as it was when you got it in the store this is what you do to it you just put it in a bowl of icy water and it sort of like revives it so i'm just gonna chop there these i'm just gonna fry i'm gonna remove these seeds and then i'm gonna fry them and the reason we're doing this um is to not only get some beautiful nice color with that charring on them but this helps them caramelize because as they fry they obviously release all of those sugars and they taste so much better so sometimes i like to make the salad um with some peach so like i said substitution is the name of the game use whatever you have in the fridge don't worry about using these exact ingredients so my pen is nice and hot just laying them on the sides and literally just leaving the pan to do its magic so my heat is about a medium heat a medium to high heat so not too low but not like 
scorching hot either so you want to give them time to sort of brown on which is what we want we want to give them the beautiful color but while that's busy on there we're gonna prep the rest of our ingredients and I'm going to start with laying down my rocket wipe my plate and then in goes my rocket so you don't even have to worry about drying it just dust off that water and this salad I like to dress with some uh, balsamic vinegar so I'm just gonna lay that rocket this is my favorite sort of base for any salad um, so yeah if you don't have rocket do not stress you can use some baby spinach you can use some lettuce you can use really whatever greens you have in your fridge they will work just fine it's gonna taste just as delicious I promise so I just laid my rocket and to this I am gonna add my blue cheese you can use a knife or you can use your hands make it nice and rustic so it doesn't have to be like super perfect it'll still be very nice so I'm just gonna go in with my hands and just lay it on top of my rocket I'm gonna try get little little pieces and just lay them on there like that so this would be a serving for one but if you're making for more than one person you'd obviously you know double the quantities and then I'm gonna add my red onion I'm sure you can already tell what my favorite ingredients are I'm gonna add my red onion because of that beautiful color I really like food that is colorful and pretty to look at I feel like it encourages you to eat so I want to see if there's more questions I'm here to answer any and all of your questions. I'm just gonna grab some tongs and see if I can turn my, I don't think just yet. See, they're starting to color, but I'm not quite happy with that, with that color. I think I'm gonna leave them a bit longer. And while we wait, I will slice my red onion if if at all there are any um ingredients that you don't like you, that you can't have you may be allergic to or you just don't like you can very easily leave them out and substitute with any other ingredients so don't worry about getting a recipe exactly how you saw it especially if it's cooking if it's baking please follow the exact recipe but if it's cooking you definitely can make a lot of substitutions I'm gonna add just a little bit more of my red onion it's looking nice and pretty um, so how I like to start a salad is I, I like to think of it as needing a base which is always my greens that's your rocket your spinach your lettuce and then next I like to almost always add a cheese could be some feta some blue cheese some mozzarella whatever cheese you like and then I always obviously add some fruits and veggies some cherry tomato um, today we're adding pear as well um, some peppers some onion really any fruit and veggies that you like can very easily go into the salad I feel like this is what gives it like very beautiful color and character and then I also like to add you know either um, some protein some fish some meat some chicken just chop it up nicely add it in there and that's very optional if you're making like a vegetarian version you can leave the meat out and then what else do I like I like to add some beans as well I feel like that's a nice thing to bulk up the salad um, yeah so play around with it don't worry about you know having this ingredient and not having that all that matters is you're having ingredients that you enjoy um, uh, let me see I'm gonna try read some of your questions as we go 
um can i use a normal frying pan for the pears yes you can um however you're not going to get that beautiful charring um just as soon as it's done i'm going to show you what what it's going to look like it's going to have like some some beautiful like marks on it which is what i i want to get which is the whole purpose of actually frying them but yes you can you just won't get you know the desired effect really okay i feel like maybe let's go higher with our heat so yeah it's starting to char beautifully so what you want is those beautiful lines on there is what we're trying to get beautiful I'm trying to place it exactly where it was so yeah so you can fry them in a normal pan you just unfortunately will not get um, these beautiful marks that we're trying to get okay maybe let me turn this one and then I'm just pressing them down to sort of try speed up the process you can hear the sizzle and then the other ingredient that we are adding here is another ingredient which I like to add to most of my salads which is the crunch I know we get some crunch with the, the greens that we add be it the lettuce the spinach the rocket but I like to add some extra crunch with some nuts so whichever nuts are your favorite you can add to that so I like to offset all of my salads with some nice crunch I'm already loving the colors that I'm seeing here I can't wait for my pears and then on to our next salad how quick and easy are these like really quick and easy this I'm gonna dress with some balsamic vinegar so once I'm done with this all the work is done just grab some balsamic vinegar that you bought in the store and then give that a nice drizzle and that is your salad and remember you can very easily add some extra protein to this you can add meat fish chicken whichever you like so don't worry again I'll keep saying don't worry about having these exact ingredients so yeah that's that's sort of where you're trying to go you're trying to get those lines and this is what makes these lines the the griddles in the griddle pan which is why I'm frying this in here and not um, gonna grab the ones that sort of have the lines which is why I'm making it in here and not um, in like a normal pan because I wanted to get this beautiful charred lines of the grill okay I'm going to turn this off since this is just a serving for one person who shouldn't be eating as much as she should have but yeah this is our second salad done how quick and easy I'm just when it's time to eat I'm gonna dress it let's not advertise I'm gonna dress it with some balsamic vinegar and that is your salad done this is a very quick dinner and now on to salad number three. See how quick and easy this is. So now on to our next salad. I'm gonna just set all of my ingredients here. So that is, what you're seeing there is salad number two. We just made um, a number of salads. Today we're doing salads only. Uh, we're giving the banana bread a bit of a break so I'm gonna take another question just now um, can I serve the salad with curries for example what does the salad pair with um, you can definitely serve the salad I wouldn't serve it with a curry and the reason for that is because the the blue cheese as you know is a very strong cheese it's very pungent and curries are the same they're very like strong um, and pungent uh, so this I would have with like a steak or a piece of fish a piece of chicken um, yeah something very simple um, that's not going to complicate your palate as much you can very much have this with a glass of wine which I'm going to do after this so we're going to get on to our next salad 
which also requires for us to use blue cheese but like i said previously if you don't like the taste slash smell of blue cheese you are very welcome to use the feta so don't worry about having the exact ingredients that you see me using if you don't have any of these you can substitute with what you have what you can easily find um, in the store so I'm going to use this plate to make my next salad um, this salad is also in my award-winning cookbook so I'm just gonna quickly show you how to make it it's also like super easy maybe I should run you through the ingredients first um, we're gonna use that same rocket that we just used and then I'm um, using like a medley of berries this is actually what I call it I call it uh, a me medley of berry salad with rocket and South Africa's favorite thing biltong any excuse to have biltong so I'm adding this to my salad um, if you don't like biltong you can add whatever kind of protein you want or you can leave it out and make this like a nice vegetarian option so now we're going to get started. I'm going to start with my rocket. My rocket that's been sitting in my icy cold water. This is what it aids to, to give it back that sort of crunch. Just going to lay it nicely, make like a nice bed of, of rocket. The other thing I really enjoy about the salad is how colorful it is. I feel like it's very welcoming makes you want to eat it because it just looks so pretty because of all those colors I'm gonna add a bit more rocket and that's that I like to add my greens or what whichever greens I'm using I like to add those in the middle of my plate and then now I'm gonna go in with all of my beautiful berries I'm gonna start with some raspberries you can Cut this in half or serve it whole. They're not like super big. So I'm just like adding a variety of berries. You don't have to use these exact ones. Just use whichever ones you find. Um, I don't have blueberries. I would have added those if I had them. So just add whatever you can find. That's what you add. I'm adding some gooseberries for beautiful color as you can see you're starting to see all of that contrast of all those beautiful colors this. so it's really pretty this as well. so I love that you have all of these stunning colors on your plate I feel like that just encourages you to eat up Okay, I think that's enough with those. And now I'm gonna add some strawberries. I'm gonna cut that in halves. Let's do halves, yeah. I'm gonna cut that in halves. Just place them nicely on the plate. Make your plate look nice and pretty. I'm gonna do, I think that's just about enough. I don't wanna crowd our salad too much. And then I'm gonna add a South African fave which is biltong. I don't know one person that doesn't like biltong. Well, if they eat meat. The only people I know who don't like biltong are like my friends that are vegetarian slash vegan. And they obviously won't like it, but everybody else, this is a fave. I'm gonna just add it onto there. I'm gonna try to I'm trying to get like little bite-sized pieces so that when you get it you just chew and there isn't like any cutting necessary okay and then I'm gonna add you can add like I said either one of these you can add the blue cheese or the feta <laughs> okay my sister's saying feta I'm gonna add the feta and I'm not even gonna cut it I'm just gonna crumble it in here just in here 
so if you don't like the sometimes like very strong pungent smell of the blue cheese if it has your girl and then here we go so this is salad number three which is actually supposed to be our last salad but we have time why not make one more so we're gonna do one more salad and then we're done so this i would dress also with some balsamic vinegar but with that dressing that we made earlier remember with the where is it with the okay i can't find it now <laughs> but um the dressing that we made oh i know where i put it okay here so remember the dressing we made earlier um in here is some olive oil um some whole grain mustard some lime juice and some honey for sweetness and this you can very easily use to dress almost all in any of your salads this is like my go-to dressing if I'm not using this I'm using balsamic vinegar so this you can dress basically all your salads I'll decide once I'm eating what I'm dressing with yes so this is salad number three quick easy that was like a good 10 minutes if that and dinner is ready so i'm gonna put this away and then clear up and we can get ready for our next salad okay so that's salad number three that we just did and we are getting ready to make our last and final salad just gonna clear everything away and we can make our final salad for today. So this would be salad number four. So this would be salad number four. Um, how do you make these on the go? The instance to take, oh, for instance, to take to work, where would you make them in? Oh, um, so let me see. So the first salad is a couscous and bean salad. And you saw to make the couscous is like really simple. Just going to show you again. So in here we have our couscous and how we made it is. And how we made it is before it was cooked we added in some boiling water so at the office i'm sure you should have like a kettle boil some water just add that um make sure it's like one centimeter above just like covering all of the couscous let it absorb and then like do like a centimeter above this and then you can cover it with whatever i like to use a cling wrap nice and tight and snug and then the steam is what cooks the couscous and literally five minutes later your couscous is done and all you do is just fluff it with a fork and then add the rest of your ingredients um your ingredients you can just pack in like your little lunch tin and then put all of these together when you're ready to eat so all of these salads they travel really well and this salad i especially enjoy because it cooks um very quick and easy and you can have it as a side or a main meal sometimes i just like to add like a piece of fish and that's like an entire meal so yeah that was salad number one salad number two was this one with the pears if you're adding the pears because like i said you can leave out any ingredients that you don't like or that you don't have so if you're adding the pears you could fry those in the morning quickly and then um, carry this and assemble it at the office very easily just be careful of the blue cheese because it does have like quite a strong smell so if i was taking this to work i would rather i would substitute with the feta instead you don't want to be like that person at the office and then our final well no, not actually our final our third salad is this rocket and berry medley feta salad none of this you're cooking literally nothing you're just assembling so you can pack all your fruits get out your rocket and then assemble very welcome to leave out you know any ingredient that you don't like if you don't like 
for instance, are vegetarian, you want to leave out the biltong, that is perfectly fine. I'm going to put this aside and we can get to our fourth and final salad. In here I've got some pine nuts. I'm just going to very lightly toast that in my pan. I'm just using the same pan because, I mean, I hate washing dishes, so why not use the same pan? They're already like immediately because this pan was so hot they immediately as they're hitting the pan like toasting i can smell them so see and if you can come closer you can just see they like toasted that was like not even a minute so i'm just toasting them because i like that taste of of them nice and toasted um you could do this in an oven but i feel like that's just that's just a necessary time that you take can just very quickly do it in here uh make sure that they don't burn i think i'll take all the ones that aren't too like charred and then um my next ingredient so for this salad i'm not using rocket like all the other ones i'm using some lettuce and you can substitute this with whatever so i'm using some lettuce um and then also using my favorite thing in the whole world which is an avo and then um i'm using some clementines as well really great vitamin c um actually this salad is also the salad that we just made lots of vitamin c many people don't know um many people don't know that strawberries actually have more vitamin c than oranges so many people don't know so this salad is absolutely a winner and it's got pulled on so who wouldn't love it so yes i'm using some clementines but you can use oranges you can substitute like don't be the one thing i'm always saying don't be afraid to you know try out new things you know give a, a recipe a nice twist your own twist you know a recipe is but a guideline and you make it your own so I'm gonna use um, that as well. Let me just grab a nice plate. And we are gonna assemble. So literally, the only cooking we did was toasting our nuts. That is literally all the cooking that we did. Um, as you can see, this was also in some icy water. I always, always do that. Every time I'm gonna use um, some greens, I always, Put them in some nice icy water just to get that that like beautiful crunch and now i'm just assembling i love that you know this has all these beautiful colors as you have now noticed i love nothing better than a very colorful salad i feel like it's nice and inviting it just makes you want to dig in because you know a steak tastes better than a salad but a salad looks better than a steak so this is just to encourage me to eat more salads so i'm just like nicely scattering there i'm just gonna do a bit more so i already like the colors that i'm seeing here so this is salad number four and I'm gonna share the story so i think the story will still be up once we are done so you can revisit it and um we're gonna share the full we're gonna share the full ingredients the full methods on how to make all of these salads so that you can make them after um so once you have made them please tag both me at the lazy Magwadi and obviously glamour underscore sa on all your salad creations we want to see all of your beautiful creations so yeah tomorrow is officially salad day that's all we're making we're all making salads i'm gonna add um my nice toasted seeds i'm gonna try grab the ones that aren't like too charred i'm actually gonna do this with a spoon um just like choosing the ones that aren't too toasted because my pan really was like really hot too hot actually so 
so just gonna scatter those you don't have to use pine nuts you can use um whatever nuts you like or omit the nuts if you're like allergic to nuts the salad will still taste just as amazing without the nuts i just like that crunch well that extra crunch that we get um but you still get crunch with the lettuce so don't worry if there's anything that you don't like or you can't have you can leave it out so yeah those are my nuts i'm not gonna go too ham with it um and then i'll add my pomegranate as well Ooh, okay and this also adds as you can see very beautiful color i mean this looks and i got like oh this is a good one because look how red they don't, they're not usually like all like this super like bloody red this is so pretty so i'm gonna add that oh this would be so nice to have like with a like a side of like pork or lamb lamb actually yeah it's like some lamb chops as you can hear i like food <laughs> so now i'm gonna add my clementines and if you don't want to use this um you can use some oranges you can use whatever what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna slice them with the peel um just because it's easier to handle with the peel so if I was to peel them and then try to slice them, um, they would be like too mushy as I, as I try to, to cut in them. So it's just easier to handle with the peel. I am going to remove the peel. I'm I want to try to get like as thin as I can with the slices. So I think I'll do just one more. Um, I'm making like a serving for one person so today it really is gonna be salad day so to peel is very easy very gently just remove it I, I'm trying to look at the time okay we almost at the finish line so just place it nicely on your plate how pretty is that uh, I feel like food tastes even better when it looks pretty so I'm gonna do another one and maybe a last one for good measure and this salad I would dress with this the dressing that I just showed you how to make um, with the the olive oil the hmm, let's see if i can remember the olive oil the honey the mustard and the lime and then i'm just gonna hmm, let's see yeah i think i'll do like almost like shavings but not quite of the evo and that is your fourth and final salad how pretty like evo is my absolute favorite thing if i could i would have it in and with every single thing and i'm gonna put that away give my hands a nice wipe and there we go so this is salad number four and it's looking just as pretty and just as delicious um so thank you so much for joining me tonight on the glamour sa page i hope that you learned something and yeah join me as we make tomorrow salad day i want to see all of your beautiful creations i want to see all the substitutions that you're going to make all the new things that you're going to add so please don't forget to tag me at the lazy makoti and of course at glamour underscore sa happy cooking